So today we have a package sent to us from Ardroit. And uh, this is their, I think it's their AD1250 charger. So that's a 12 volt, 50 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. Uh, power cable, manual. So it looks like they've also got different models uh, an 8 amp, 12 volt, 5 amp, 24, uh, 4 amp, 36, 3 amp, 48. I see a 30 amp, 12 volt, but I don't see the 50 amp on here. 90% efficient, microprocessor controlled, reverse uh, polarity protection relay. Uh, the unit looks pretty sturdy. Got some nice weight, pretty solid looking cables. I don't know what material this is. Feels pretty okay. Crimped and soldered. All right, so the Ardroit, Ardroit AD1250. I guess this is a new charger. I did find this on Amazon. I think it's $178. Uh, so power on, it'll be red, charging, if it's less than 90% will be red flash. If it's greater than 90% it'll be a green flash. And if it's fully charged it'll be green on solid. Battery type or lithium iron phosphate. 100 to 120 volts AC input, 8 amps max. You can also do 240 or 200 to 240 uh, volt input with the flick of the switch over here. It's set to 110 already I think. Yeah. Alright, so uh, yeah, we're going to hook this up to a battery and see what it'll do. Alright guys, we got the Sun Phone Kits battery here, 300 amp hour battery. And uh, it's not totally discharged, but it's at 41.89%. Uh, uh, that was from me cooking with it, cooking the chili with it in the last video I used this in. 170 amp hours that need to go into this thing to fill it up. So that's plenty of capacity that we need to charge up to test this uh, Ardroit 50 amp battery charger. So let's go ahead and hook the terminals up. I gotta say I'm not terribly a fan of what's going on here. Um, but we'll see. These, these seem really these little rubber things here seem like those won't really stick around for very long. Like they won't, uh, they're not very durable. Those things, yeah, they're just going to pop off. So I don't know. Maybe that's something to consider. Okay, and um, let's plug it in. Okay, I hear the fan come on. Do we have an LED somewhere? Yeah, we do. It's flashing red, so that means that uh, we are less than 90% full. Okay. And. Oh, I think we are doing 50 amps, actually. Let's see. Yes. 50.6 amps. So it's doing exactly what uh, it's rated at. Now, I've got it on this piece of marble because, <laughs> uh, you know, safety. I don't think I should be leaving this on a plastic table in case, uh, you know, it gets hot or something fails or something like that. So we're going to leave it on that for safety. Maybe like that. There we go. 
And uh, this one is very cool. This one feels a little bit warm. Actually, oh, you know what? Because I didn't get it get shut off as soon as I disconnected. I didn't quite get it under the bolt. There we go. Yeah, that feels better. These bolts, I think these bolts are stainless steel. So if, if you just get it connected on top, then uh, you're going to have a little bit of resistance. But underneath, there is a brass uh, insert that it's connected to. So feels a little cooler. This one's super cool. It's so moving a fair bit of air. Uh, now, clearly the MOSFETs are connected over here because I could feel this is where it is warm, actually very warm. I can still hold my hand to it, but it's pretty warm. Uh, but we are still pushing 50.25 amps. So I'm going to let this run for a while and then I, we're going to come back and kind of check the temps yeah this this feels fine right now yeah these feel fine right now the only thing that's warm is this side right here this uh not too bad so we'll come back and check the temps and check everything see if it's still doing good all right, guys, so we've let it run for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or something. And uh, it is quite warm. I can still hold my hand on it. Uh, now on this side where the MOSFETs are clearly, it's hot. I ooh, cannot hold my hand on it. <laughs> it's not like hot enough to ignite anything, it's, but it, it's getting a little warm. Let's see. 119, 120 on the top. Uh, what? 132 on the side there. Now this is where it's going to be quite hot. 160 yeah 161 or just 162 um, yeah I mean this is going to have to be if you're going to mount this in something uh, permanent it's uh, going to need to breathe there's no doubt about that and uh Probably want to mount it on something that's not necessarily going to melt either. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, clips are just warm, not not hot, not 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 a problem at all really. Wires are fine, just a little warm. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Yeah, no, no problem with these. That's fine. Uh, so we started off around, uh, what was it, 41 point something state of charge. Now we're at 53.19. We're still pushing in the 50 amps. Uh, so this thing, I mean, it's a beast. It's, <laughs> it's a charging monster. Yeah, 50.08 uh, amps. Yeah. So yeah, it's a. It's getting after it. That's a. Yeah. So this thing is over halfway charged. So I guess in two, uh, roughly two hours. Is that right? No. Wait a minute. 
three hours. So roughly three hours, maybe a little under three hours, we should be fully charged. Now this is a, a 300 amp hour uh, battery. Uh oh, lost my BMS app. There she is. Uh, so this is a 300 amp hour battery. This is not your standard run of the mill 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. It's a big boy. So uh, yeah, about three hours or it would take about six hours uh, if this battery was fully depleted. So yeah, um, like I said, uh, just run a little warm. I don't smell anything burning per se. It smells like hot components. <laughs> That's about it. So no smoke, no fire, nothing burning. And it's charging at 50 amps. So I'll come back in a little while. Uh, maybe when this is fully charged. Let's see then. All right, guys. We are almost fully fully charged here uh, well it says a hundred percent state of charge but it's still taking a little bit uh, yeah it's still sucking in like 39 amps um, we're like 3.55 per cell uh, the amperage is starting to go down uh, 35 so it's about to sh be completed now I never saw the light flashing green like it said it would, I guess, if it was over 90% charged. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, we've got one cell that's wanting to peak up here. <clears throat> so when this uh, hits 3.65-ish, sh we should see it basically stop 26 amps coming in. No, still pretty warm, not blazingly hot here. On the side, pretty warm. R r quite hot, actually, on the side. Um, but still fine. 21 amps. All right, we shut off. And uh, the charger is showing green. So there we have it zero amps going in so did we sh did the charger shut off or did we let's see we're at 14.17 status as at is on standby yeah so that's it fully charged yeah um a good a good unit uh, if you can deal with the you know the the how warm it gets um, it's not like red alert levels heat or anything like that but uh, you, you you're gonna need this uh, in some nice ventilation area you know if you were using this for for an RV or a van build or something like that it's not something you want tucked up underneath your bed or something like that if you're going to connect it to shore power or whatnot um i definitely would recommend having some good airflow uh but for charging uh your lithium iron phosphate batteries it's it's a it's a monster uh it's going to do it it's going to charge a 100 amp hour you know your typical 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery in like two hours so yeah, good unit. Uh, like I said, my only thing would be, uh, you know, the temperature. I don't have, I don't really have anything to compare it against, because um, it really, I'll, I usually only charge with solar charge controllers, and they can get quite warm. Uh, but mm, I've had, I've had a few to get probably, you know, similar to similar to this level temperature let's see here 
Now 114. Cools down quite rapidly, 130. That's Fahrenheit, by the way. All right, guys, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'll put a link in the description if, if you want to pick one of these up. That is going to be it for the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.